So this question is a diagram question. We know that because of the table that is provided here. So anytime I have a table provided, I like to look at the title. So the title here is Energy Program of Typical Macronutrients. And we look at the, the uh, column. So I have macronutrient in the first column, followed by food calories, followed by, followed by kilojoules. And then we have protein as one of the macronutrients, fat as another, and carbohydrates as our last one. So the information here just says the table above gives the typical amounts of energy per gram expressed in both food calories and kilojoules of the three macronutrients in food. So pretty much what we already discovered by exploring the table a little bit. So the actual question says, if the 180 food calories in a granola bar come entirely from P grams of protein, F grams of fat, and C grams of carbohydrate, which of the following expresses F in terms of P and C? So this is definitely what I like to call a translate word problem, right? We're told that the granola bar has 180 calories. So we know that um, it has 180. So I'm gonna put that here. But I'm gonna really say that's my, the right-hand side of my equation. How do we get to the 180 calories? Well, we know that, again, we're not looking at, looking at the kilojoules column. We're looking at the food calories, because that's what it says, right? 180 food calories. So we know that it's going to be a combination of protein, fat, and carbohydrates. So the question says it comes from P grams of protein. But what do we know about protein? Well, we know that for every gram, right, every gram per gram, every gram of protein has four food calories. So I'm going to multiply this by four, right? So four times P plus, now to the fat, nine times F, which represents fat, plus for the carbohydrates, four times C. When we add all that up, we should get this 180 food calories. So hopefully that makes sense, right? Because there's four food calories per gram of protein, and we don't know how many grams of protein are in the granola bar, so that's why it's four times P. And the same thing for fat, right? There's nine grams of food calories per, um, or nine food calories per um, gram of fat, four food calories per gram of carbohydrate. So all that added together is our 180. So the question wants us to express F in terms of P and C. Our answer choices prove to us that all that really means is that we need to isolate F. So I'm going to just rewrite this. 4P plus 9F plus 4C equals 180. I want to isolate my F, so I'm going to subtract 4P and subtract 4C from both sides here. So minus 4P minus 4C. So what I'm left with is 9F equals 180 minus 4P minus 4c. Now to get f alone, I need to divide everything by 9. So the 9 is gone there. I have f equals 180 divided by 9 is 20. And then I have 4 ninths p and minus 4 ninths c. I don't see that as an answer. In fact, all of my answer choices have p and c together, which means I can pull out this common factor here. So I'm going to say this is 20 minus 4 ninths, parentheses, P, right? Because negative 4 ninths times P is negative 4 ninths P. But then I'm going to say plus C, why? Because again, negative 4 ninths times positive C would recreate my negative 4 ninths C. So here's my answer. F is equal to, and I'll just write it here very neatly, F is equal to 20 minus four ninths P plus C. And therefore the correct answer is choice B. There it is. Choice B is the right answer here.